Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with another quick video for you. So as always, I'm starting with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I did have someone ask me what products I use to wash my hair. I don't use the same product every time, but I will be putting that in the description going forward so that you at least know what I'm using to wash my hair. So if you haven't seen my previous twist out where I used, it was a mini twist, it was a straw set inspired twist out. So I decided why not just go for a straw set and see what it really looks like. So I bought these straws from the dollar store for 99 cents, 200 of them. They have to be the flexible ones, at least the way that I'm doing this, they have to be. They kind of look like a little baby flexi ride to me with a little adjustable part. The only product I'm going to be using is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. I love this stuff because it already has oils in there to where I don't feel like I need to use an additional product and my hair is nice and moisturized while setting. So bear with me during this. Oh yeah, we do need rubber bands. This is my first time doing this. So the first one I did, it kind of didn't turn out too well and I had to redo it to get my technique down so then that's why we're on the second one. So you're gonna be wrapping your hair around the straw, just like I did with my Flexi Rod set. And then once you get down to the ends, you're gonna add a little bit more product. And then when I cut out, I decided to add some gel. Any gel that you have laying around, just to seal your hair together on that end of the straw. Because you have to remember this is a straw, it's not a perm rod, it's not a flexi rod, it's not supposed to hold hair. So it's kind of be, it's gonna be a little more difficult to get your hair to stick together. So the gel just binds your hair together at the end so that it doesn't move out of place. So show you again here, wrapping your hair around the straw. Now this is gonna determine how your curl comes out. I've seen people wrap their hair around the entire length of the straw, giving you more of an elongated stretch curl. But I'm looking for a lot more definition, so I'm gonna keep it close as tight as possible and you'll see the difference once I when I take these out and then adding the rubber band on top once I started doing these I kind of got in the in the hang of it and as you can see here it's very crucial to make sure you seal the ends of the straw I maybe only had like two or three of these coming loose for the most part once I started getting my rhythm I was pretty good with it so I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit so you're gonna start right where the straw bends and a little bit before that, giving yourself enough room to tie the rubber band. And just slowly wrap your hair around, keeping it close together. As you see, my finger is kind of pushing up each wrap around to make sure it stays in place. Because keep in mind, this is a straw, there's nothing gripping your hair to keep it in place. Adding a little bit more of the product and then wrapping your hair on top of itself to seal it in place. Adding a little bit of gel at the end, just so that it doesn't come loose. Pretty simple. Um, I will say the technique itself wasn't that difficult. It's just a matter of it's a smaller, it's a very small straw, so there's a lot more rotations of wrapping your hair around depending on how long or short your hair is. And I did cut the ends because I didn't want, I already had a rough enough time sleeping with those flexi rags sticking straight out, so I figured this would help me as far as going to sleep by cutting the ends off. Other than that, this was pretty simple. It took me, took me a long time. I'm not gonna lie to you and act like it took me 30 minutes. It took me about two and a half hours, maybe even more. Um, just because I'd never done this before, so it was like a learning process. Now the takedown was simple. I just opened up the straw, the rubber band went wherever it went, and I slid the straw out the top. One thing I did like about that is that I didn't have to unwrap the curl itself. I didn't have to manipulate any of the definition because as you can see, this definition is amazing. So that was a plus, easy takedown versus, oh, and there's always one. I had to, it kind of came loose overnight, but hey, it's, it's, it's never perfect. At least it was in the back. So I'll be stretching out my curls. Normally I would do this as I untwist, but I'm just gonna show you the difference like I always do versus stretching them and then not stretching them. It's totally up to you how you wanna do that, if you wanna include that step or not. Separating these, you do wanna take your time just like with any other style. Um, for me, I kinda separate them where they kinda separate naturally. So I pull on the piece and where I see it start to separate, that's where I split it in two. And then for some of these, I kinda split in three depending on uh, how big the piece was. 
I was very pleased with the definition. I was blown away because I, I'd never done this and I didn't know what to expect, but this is this is awesome because I know the next few days it's gonna stretch, it's gonna get bigger, and the definition is still gonna be there. This is great vacation hair, or if you just wanna leave your hair alone for a while because this is definitely gonna grow and get bigger over the next few days. And it's gonna still have a lot of great definition to last you a good while because they're starting so tight. I was very pleased with the results that I got with just using one product. This kind of definition and shine and volume in one bottle is always a plus. Comment down below with any questions you may have or if I left anything out, please let me know. I know this is a little more of a shrunken style than I would normally do, but I loved it. I did come back in later and show you here as the hairstyle kind of settled for a great day one hair. And as always, thank you for watching. Your second hand is sinking in my soul.